All right, hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to start implementing a insertion of the new node to the list. Okay, actually we're gonna do an append to the list. So this in the previous video, we created this project already. We have um, some of the files created. So if you haven't created yet, make sure you go back to the video to watch that first. But we did create, create a folder called list, one full node that contains the node um, class. And we have a list that will actually create the single list class as well. And our main list is main program is called my list. And we import the single list here and we're gonna go ahead and implement the append function. So I'm gonna go over back to the drawing over here just to kind of explain just a little bit. So initially when we create the program, the list is gonna be empty. That means both the head and the tail nodes will be pointing to none, nothing, right? So we check that first, if that's the case, then we're gonna append the node to the list. That means that both of the head and the tail will be pointing to that single node. After that, then if you have at least one node in the list, then we need to prepend, append the next node to that new list. And then we have to update the tail to point to that new node, okay? And so that's what we're gonna do. All right, so let's go back to the IDE over here and let's go right into the single link list over here. And I'm gonna turn off all these files because we're confusing now, okay? So just the, um, oh, this, this is already done right into inside this single link list.py. Okay, so the function we're gonna create is called append. This is gonna appending to the end of the list only. So we load the self and we also need the item that's coming in, the new item or the new data, whatever you wanna call it. Now, we first wanna create a new node for this. So new node is equal to no, we pass in the item to that. So we got our new node. Okay, so we wanna make sure the list is not empty. So you can check either the tail or the head, it doesn't really matter in this case. If you do it correctly, then you both should either point to no or they're not, okay? So I'm gonna just, just check the head. If the self that head is indeed equal to none, that means the list is empty. So I'll basically point both nodes to this new node, right? So self that head is assigned to the new node and also update my self that tail pointing to this new node as well. So this is just the first time you have the single node, okay? If that's not the case, then there must be at least one node in the list. So therefore we need to do the following. So all we think is basically if there are at least one node, we don't have to worry about the head node, just the tail node, right? So all we have to do is you basically update the tail that next node, um, oops, self that tail, spell that correctly, next node, assign that pointing instead of no or none, point that to the new node, okay? And don't have to worry about the new node because when you create the new node, the new next node is already no or nothing. So we don't have to worry about that. In other words, you don't have to say self.next. Um, uh, I mean, no, no, that next is called no. You don't have to do that. And then we just have to re, re, um, assign, reassign the self.tail to this no, no as well. Okay. You have to do that because um, if you don't reset that one, that means the tail node will be the one previous to it. So it doesn't make sense, right? So you point its last node to the new node. Okay, and then you update the tail to the new node. That new node becomes the new uh, tail tail node. So now, if you are, you know, uh, managing your size, you can just go ahead and make sure you update this to a plus one. So I'm gonna go back out here, out of the if block, put here self size is plus equal one. Okay, so that is the appending to the new node. We'll test to make sure it's working. Let's go back to the main list over here and let's add, add some, um, some files in here, okay? So I'm gonna do a, a function up here. I'm gonna build a list. So let's put here, define a definition of build a list. And we pass here the list itself. Uh, I'll call it pet, okay? Pets list, or you can call it LST, doesn't matter. Let's call it, uh, let's make it simple. Call it LST for list. I didn't wanna use list because list is a keyword. Okay, so LST, and then we have the data that come into this list here. And then, um, so I'm gonna pass a data of, um, is it gonna array or a list of, of uh, you know, pets or animals, okay? And um, let's see if we're gonna go here or put, uh, so let's see, where should I start first? Um, yeah, let's start from, so do a for loop. For every um, item, 
in the data. We're going to call the list.append function. There we go, this append function here. We're gonna pass to this function the item. Okay, so basically we're gonna build the list. Uh, and then we'll, because list is a reference type. So whatever you do here to the list, it will come back, you will update it. So you don't have to return it. So in the main program, main function, we're then going to create a new list. We'll call it um, pass list is equal to singly linked list. Okay, we create a constructor. Now we have a patent list object and we're gonna build this list. And we pass to this list a um, the pets list and also a data object. So here I'm gonna go and grab some emoji over here, okay? Uh, some really kind of beautiful sites over here and grab some emoji, we can use it. Um, give me a second here, okay. Um, yeah, I use this emoji website over here. Um, if you, just a list of emojis. Uh, where is it at? Okay, so I already have it here and I'm gonna add this to my list right here. Okay, so I have uh, uh, the dog and the cat and the mouse here to my list. So once I added that to the list, I can then go back and um, you know run that. And then once that's done, we need to verify, right? So we don't have a print function yet, but we can access to make sure that the that data is actually there. So we can access by going to uh, print. We're gonna print the pets list dot head dot item. Right, item, or you can get item, you can call it get item function, doesn't matter. I'll make it a little bit, just a little bit short. And what we'll, we'll say this and give it a test and see what this one looks like because um, may or may not work, I don't know, right? So let's give it a try. So you go over here and just run the program over here. And I can, um, let's see what this output shows up. Is it left, right, or bottom? I don't know, we'll give it a try. Uh, did it work? Uh, let's try it again. Okay, so here we go, down the bottom down here. You can see that it's printing this. You know what, let me move this to the top right. So I'm gonna move to the um, panel right. Okay, so on the right side, and let's clear this again. You can see that it prints the first on the list already, which is the dog. And if you wanna see more, right, it'll be dot next item, dot next item. So let me just duplicate this and uh, do it of them. So this is the next item. This is the cat. And then this is the mouse. Next, that item, next. Okay. And so if it's correct, then we should see three of those pets being created and added here. I'm not sure why it cuts off a little bit of the right side here, but here we go. So we know it's working and it looks good. So in the next video, we're going to show how to create um, added list to the front I'm adding note to the front of that list.